Hey guys, it's me, Zinkberg. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play series. Uh, as you can see, everything's running nice and smooth down here. We have bone meal going in every way. We have wheat farms going. We have moss thingies doing the stuff. Vines are growing. Everything's hunky-dory down here, which is awesome. Uh, I intend on going today to... Um, Back to the peak. Now, at the time of recording this, I still haven't got a definitive name for the peak. It seems that it's coming down between two options. Uh, we have Tough Peak, uh, as mentioned by Douglas Gordo, and we have Potential Peak, as mentioned by uh, Isabox. And... It's neck and neck, guys. It's uh, it's right there. We'll have an answer by the end of this episode. Uh, so let me, uh, I'll just continue on here doing this. And then I need to go and do some work over on the peak and get that thing a little bit bigger than it was before. So uh, I'll see you very soon. <laughs> Before we get working on the peak, actually, let me just show you a couple of things. Um, I have done a bit over here, so why don't we do a little bit of a tour? So, um, as you can see, the paths and everything are all uh, are all bricked up. We had that last time. Done some more work down here, so we've got the uh, we've got the frontage for this done. Um, still, might recess that back as well as that bit over there. Uh, then. We have, what did we do over here? Oh, we added in some vines and things. We'll see how they grow and and see what difference that makes. Uh, put in all the pathways down underneath here. Uh, and we've gone around, done all the edging all along here. I've also moved this path. So originally this was coming out and around like that. I think I prefer this being a straight, straight path through there. And then we just head up here. So I've done all the edging there, all this bit as well. And up here, I've built a nice little sort of garden area with some little seats that you can sit in. Just stop saying little. I've built some smallish cypress trees. <laughs> They're little. Oh, they're certainly little compared to those ones down there. Uh, yeah, so they're, they're looking good and this is sort of a, a nice viewpoint where you can stand and look out if your shield wasn't in the way. Let's move the shield. Uh, so we've got, yeah, this nice sort of view out over here. Also, if our view distance was better, always forget to do that. Always forget to to change the change the settings when I'm, when I'm back in my world compared to Craftworks. There we go. At least we can see right over to there, which is good now. Um, yeah, so things are starting to come together here. I haven't done a lot around the... Oh, I added a little waterfall-y thing, the magic. And, uh, and also these little lampposts, which I'm not sure on these yet. I might change the way these look up the top there. Just tried to get some lighting out and around. I, I don't want to do the moss under the carpets, but we'll see how we go. We might just have to come up with that. Uh, because there are a few spots. I didn't get to show that tree last last time, um, even though I mentioned that it had been done. Anyway, I think it's a pretty tree. I think it looks good in the area. It's not as squishy as the ones over there, but it, yeah, I think it looks good. Okay, let's get this peak going. I'll get building on that.
Okay, let's take a look at how it stands now. Look, I've hidden it perfectly behind that tree over there. That was good of me. Uh, so, as you can see, I've added a whole second peak to it. And I think it's looking all right. I, it still has way more potential. Look at this one over here compared to this. <laughs> Let me fly back over this way a bit. Let's take another look at it. It's looking good. I like the little waterfall. It, it's really got a good look to it. Oh, I feel like it needs more. Look at this one over here. This one over here is just so good compared to mine. <laughs> Look, I think... Um, so at this point of the voting, it looks like Potential Peak might win. I think that's an apt name at the moment because it... it it has so much potential. I, you know, I think I'm going to have to do another one next week. I think I'm going to have to do more. I need to go much bigger, much bigger. I, You know the other thing? I need to get... Take the shaders off for a second. I need to get one of those damn goat horns. I have not had any luck at all. Let me go. I'm going to go and I'm going to go and see if I can find a goat. And I am going to... Uh, I'm going to get myself one of those horns. <laughs> okay, I have made my way further way away from the peak because the ones over there don't seem interested in me. This guy doesn't seem interested in me either. Will you just come and attack me? Just hit me. Come back. What, <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Wait, wait. I... Look. All I want, I want you to come and smash your head into this this spruce block behind me. If you wouldn't mind, I'd really appreciate it. You, oh, these things are so frustrating. Come back. <laughs> okay, let's go. There's another one over here. Maybe this one's more interesting in me. Uh, where? Maybe it's because it's... I'm sure it's because the ground isn't flat. Like, it's all up here. Like, it's all hilly and stuff. I need... Come on. Come on. Don't go to that way. <laughs> come here. Come, come here. Look, I've got wood in my hand. Surely that's attractive to you. Come over here. Come, come and attack me. There's a nice straight area right here. Look. There, do it, do it, do it. Head down. No, why? Come back. <laughs> this could be it. Oh, don't. Oh, it's so frustrating. Okay, there are two of them down there now. I'm going down there again. What is wrong with you both? <laughs> Am I not buckable? <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> I've been here for like half an hour. That's the first time one's charged. <laughs> oh no. Come on, come back. Come, yeah, have another go at it. Come on. <gasps> we got. What? Oh, he didn't hit the thing. He hit the other goat. <laughs> well, you think this is funny, don't you? It's not funny. It's annoying. What? Maybe if I use stone instead. Let me try using stone. Come on. I'm sure it just has to be a naturally occurring block within the vicinity, like in the area, right? So stone is fine. Anything's fine. Come on. Come on. All right. There are three of them here. Come on. Oh, this is annoying. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's day 1624 and the goats still don't seem interested in attacking me. This is getting really tedious. I've been here for so long. So long. Uh, we have a problem. We have the light is disappearing on us. I don't have a bed with me. Um, I have only a number of rockets left. Do I have? Yeah. Um, I wonder. That's probably. Is it best just to give up and go back? Or is it best to. What? I don't know. They're not interested in me. I'd maybe... Oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs>
Because if it doesn't happen soon, I'm gonna run. Oh, it's gonna happen. Oh, no, 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 no. Why, why? Oh, no. That's. <laughs> <laughs> That's typical. You know what? I'm going to have to do something about finding somewhere to sleep. Uh, I I am thinking... I, th I think there is a... Uh, I think there's a village somewhere. I'm sure I've seen... I think there's a village down that way. I, or do I just go back? Uh, no, you know what? I'll go this way. I think, I think I've seen the lights of a village down this way when I was heading over. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, no, that's a lava thing. Uh, I'm sure I saw. Yes, there it is. Okay, all right. So it's dark. We're fine. It's not a problem. We're <laughs> flying quickly. There are loads of sheep. I could just go down and get some wool. Uh, no, we we won't. We will just hop in here and grab a bed. No, we won't hop in here and grab a bed because there is no bed. Hello, Mr. Zombie with boots on. Uh, let's go up to... Oh, great, a spider. Good, yes, awesome. This is always my problem. I always run when I should just turn and attack. Like, it's not like, like a spider and a zombie aren't going to get it. <laughs> But anyway, let's continue to play chicken. I'm sure there'll be a bed up here. We will be fine. And... No, oh, another one, no bed. Why is there no bed? <laughs> okay, um, what are the chances? What are the chances? Okay, let me. Well, no. I will eat. And there are still more buildings, so it's, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I mean, it's not, it's not one of those deserted villages because there would be cobwebs, right? Just to fix that saturation. Okay, let's go again. Let's go again. I'm sure we're fine. We'll go down here. Okay, there's a cat. That means there are villages around. And no bed. Awesome. This is just the best village ever. Why are the villages outside down there? I think I know why the villages are outside. There's no beds. How can there not be any beds? What, what am I missing here? Did I try that one? I tried that one first, didn't I? There's no beds! Why? 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 What is happening? Oh, Mr. Sheep. I tell you what, it's so tempting. Is it just... Okay, no, no, no. no. There's got to be... No, but those villagers would be sleeping if there were beds. What, what is going on? Is this... This is the worst village in the history of mankind. I don't believe it. I don't... No, nope. Stay out there. I don't believe this. Not a single bed in the whole village. That is strange. Okay, I'm going to get this taken care of and I'm going to go back. I want to get my goat horn. <laughs> I'll see you later. Hang on. Let me at least take care of this guy. There. There's going to explode. Yeah, there we go. Fine. Everything's fine. I'm going to go kill sheep, get some wool and get a bed. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Okay, we made our bed. We are heading back to where the goats are. I am determined to... Is... <laughs> no. <laughs> That's like, look, the rocks are just over there to the side. I don't believe I just went all that way to find a bed. <laughs> this is not my day. All right, well, I'm not even going to go and have a look and see if there's a thing underneath that. I'm going to go back and I'm going to get myself this goat horn. Okay, I did the, they are not interested in me at all. I will get the bed out. I will, oh, are you kidding me? While I'm getting the bed out, really? Oh, this is making me so mad. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slay every one of you. Okay, I've been doing some reading because I have been here a crazy amount of time. This is insane how long this is taking. <laughs> and apparently if you stay really still, it happens. So I have been staying. I'm going to stay here. I'm, I'm just not going to move. I have to move to see where they are. Does that affect it? Have I ruined it now? Look, I've got some wheat. Hello, come here. <laughs> 
Can we, I tell you what, I'm going to go up and I'm going to get your mate. I'm going to bring that down here. We're going to make goat babies. We're going to have a million goats down here and I'm going to get this thing to happen. <laughs> okay, we, we are nearly here. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, first things first. You have one and you have one now. Both of you have one. <laughs> oh, isn't it cute? Oh, did I get it? I got it that time. I heard it. I heard it. Did it happen? Is that all I needed to do? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's there. It's in my inventory. It's in my inventory. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, yes. I am the goat master. <laughs> well, that was a waste of time. All right. Back I go. Let's get building. All right, we are back at the village. This is where we're going to plant down some houses and I have wool in my hands. That means I'm going to lay out a bit of a plan of something. What I'm going to do here, I just want to get about five houses along this strip here. So I'm just going to place down some blocks, again, counting out odd numbers as I go along uh, and just sort of plan out where these houses are going to go. This is a very rough idea. I have no plan whatsoever other than just placing down these blocks and give myself sort of space for for each house to be. So if that's one house there, let's go. Uh, let's see. yeah, then I'll use uh, how far back? Let me just just quickly again this is the problem with no plan right is that I just want to see the space okay that that'll be all right okay I can I can work with that that's fine yep all right so all I'm doing is I'm just going to place down some blocks and I'm going to alternate the colors and these are going to be just areas you know coming out to different levels at the front and things like that I don't need to waffle on about this I'm just going to place blocks down and I'll show you in a minute where we're up to Okay, bit of a time skip there. I have placed down a whole heap of blocks. They don't make out a word when you step out from them, which is good. Each one of these is just a different house. And yeah, let's let's get into the actual building part of it. Okay, so let's have a look at this. This is a really, really simple thing. So I'm not, I'm not building to any sort of real plan here other than that I wanted to get sort of five or six buildings across here, right? We, we sort of talked about that before. Now, I know that with these, I haven't really gone with a lot of accents yet, but I do want to, for these smaller buildings, I do want to start using some accents and things. So what we're going to do, we're just going to grab onto some, um, we we'll use the spruce logs and the reason I use spruce logs is I want a dark contrast to the concrete So like we have back here, but I also want something that I can use as a variant um, So so what we're going to do we're going to start with an outside corner Let's start with that here. So we'll we'll plan for that and we're going to go up uh, Just four I think to start with so we'll, we'll start with four there and then we're going to do the same thing here, right? This will just be, just for a basic, we just want a, a basic layout, okay? And then we're going to do um, a recessed back little bit here, but I think this bit here will be more stone. We wanna keep it to an odd number. So one, two, three, four, five there. And then on the outside here, we've got another block. So it'll be, exterior of an archway or something here and the other exterior here so this one here is now going to be our exterior for this wall um, for the next building across um, so we're going to put that in and i'm intentionally trying not to line all of these up right some of them will line up but but these ones here will but um, as we get in we're going to stagger them out a little bit now this is going to be a basic sort of doorway so in that doorway there we'll have again another four we're going to be careful that we're not making it all look too much the same across the front so so here we're going to stone so this one here i say we go to the spruce and what we'll actually do is instead of 
um, instead of this one recessing, yeah, no, this one will recess back. But here's where I start to try and vary things up just, and we're just getting a, a visual idea because I'm not building this to a plan. So we'll do these ones here for this yellow house out of the stripped spruce and then keep these ones as regular spruce. So that gives us a variance there. The red ones here, if we go regular spruce, strip spruce, regular spruce, strip spruce, like that, it's going to look too much. Like it's going to look too, too weird. So I have to make a decision, is this one even going to have any? And I'd say the answer is no. So this one steps forward. I feel like this is going to be more like a stone brick sort of one. So we'll, let's put down some stone bricks for the, for the very front of it. Um, and this one's just going to be three at the start and I'm doing that variance because otherwise the heights are all going to be the same at the very top of the, the thing all the way up there. Um, okay, you get the idea of what I'm doing here. I'm making changes to each part of it and I'm sort of just just trying to gauge an idea for how the front of it will look so so things are different so you don't need to sit here while i waffle on for hours talking about it which i did in the actual video this is editing zincberg at the moment um so i'm just going to skip forward and get to the part where i've already placed down some more blocks um, let's just step back and have a look all right so so five definitive houses that are going to have very different shapes to them okay so this one here then this one here that sides on to that one there which then sides on to this one here which then has a gap and then has this one here okay and some of these are just going to be more sort of straight back sort of things and some of them will sort of drift out and around and, and things like that so some of them are longer some of them are wider these one, two, three, four are all sort of a bit a bit similar, but I think again, I think we can get away with it. This one will look quite different. And then this one, this one, and this one are more similar, which is fine because they're joined together, right? And then this one here, which is is going to look quite different on the end here. Okay, okay, stop the stop the time lapse for a second. So we're at this point, right? We're halfway through sort of the, the height. We've got the bottom floors basically down of this thing. But I wanna quickly just go over a little bit. So what you'll notice is that all of these buildings, the ones to my left here, um, are not to my left, to your left, <laughs> are all just stone and whatever right and often when i'm building i'll i'll say and then i'm going to make it beautiful and then i go and make it beautiful but i don't often show the thought process behind it let's let's go over here i've got something set up i'll show you something just just to give you a little bit of an idea so over here i have talked about before on my channel many times this idea of that if you have a wall that is a wall, like like say that wall over there, right? Um, but well, <laughs> I'm standing right in front of a wall. Right? <laughs> Here we are. If we take if we take my hand etc. out of the equation, there there in front of you is one of the most boring sights you can ever see, right? Because it's all the same. 
everything is the same and you can you can decide you can you can pretty it up by adding some grass you can pretty it up by adding things behind it or beside it or whatever but the wall itself is still going to end up a little bit boring so i've brought some materials over here um let's have a look at some of the things we can do and how i generally would handle them okay so if we take let's say we take those ones for starters so if i was looking at this i would say okay in the corners like around around here this spot here would potentially be a very damp spot because it's sort of copying all the shadow from this wall and this wall for half of the day there might be an overhang coming up over the top there every little bit of shadow is going to lead towards darkness and dampness in this corner here so potentially that corner would be mossy normally underneath things deep down like down in the bottoms you end up with some moss so let's let's try that we'll put down just a moss block there right so now we've done nothing for this wall because it's just a wall with a moss block on it then we want to sort of do some stuff to texture that out a little bit so the next the next closest thing to moss that's not moss is going to be that right so now we have a little bit of a blend coming in there and then as we want to blend this you would take the let's say the and let's take those three out just to show you how this works so one two three right now this wall is looking a little bit more interesting instantly now in my eyes i always say never leave a block of nine by nine that's what i've said on this channel before is i hate to have a nine a three by three sorry a three by three square like that which is the same texture the same everything so if we if we look at that and we say well we've fixed that little corner down there we've made the wall more interesting but there's still some problems so the problem for me is around here okay that's my main that's my main issue block so what i would do is i would say let's have a look at some let's break up the um break up the wall a little bit uh what do we, i don't need stone in that that's fine so the most broken block that i can put in here that to me looks like a broken part of a wall is that right that's very very patchy very rough sort of looking block to accent that block i might put let's say a couple of blocks around the side of it so let's say those three then we use stone because stone is more smooth than the than the andesite so now that's looking a little better this looks a little sort of created and because we have a little square here right so i want to get some of that out maybe i'll use let's say a cracked block there so now it's starting to look a little more interesting we wouldn't just have stone on that side maybe we'd have uh maybe we'd have a block of stone up there as well so let's let's go with one there right so now this wall to me instantly looks a lot better that that is far more interesting as a textured wall than what it was before just with the blocks so that's a little trick you can do to sort of um to <laughs> everything's happening all at once it's night time it's raining it's uh, um so that's something you can do to make you make your things look a little better and and once you go if like me you're a person who likes to look at things with shaders although that isn't all that impressive with the shaders on it it does add to it it does make it look better so that that would just be a tip for me and that's what i'm going to go around on the bottom side of this and i'm just going to i'm just going to do a bit of that using the blocks that i've got with me
Okay, we are really running out of time. This episode is going way too long. So I am going to quickly show you the buildings as they stand finished. I talked and talked and talked about all the different details and things. Let me step out here and show you each one. So we've got this one here, which looks really cute. I think it's a, a beautiful building. Um, yeah, it's got a little tree on top of it. It's The roof is very simple. Um, and it, you know it's got the little open bit down there we've got this one here which is again another simple one i've gone with a domed roof on that one a little dome at the back of this one this is a very flat looking sort of fred flintstone looking house <laughs> then this one here I, I quite like that one as well and this one here so we've got quite a variance in the five of those i'm not going to waffle on about them all and the trees i've built and all the other stuff the brain coral and things like that it, let me just get to the end <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so you've seen the houses individually there. Let me throw the shaders on, let me step back from it and give you a bit of a sort of glance at what it looks like as part of a city. So as you can see, with the buildings behind it, it looks good. That's why I kept the roofs of these very flat, was because I wanted to still be able to see over the top. Let's have a look just from back a bit further. Yeah, that's really starting to come together. That's, that's really looking good. Yeah, I really like the look of that. Okay, let me get to the end. I think we've had enough of this episode. We're 35 minutes in. Give me a sec, guys. All right, let's get the thank yous done. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. I love you guys to death. You guys are the best. Thank you to everyone who voted for the name of the peak. We do the great peak has been named. We have a definitive winner, and the winner is... Potential Peak. I should add some echo or something to that and I probably feel will forget to do so. It looks great there with the uh, stars behind it. If you don't like the name Potential Peak, you've only got yourselves to blame. It was a community vote thing. You guys voted for it. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining me, guys. Love you guys to death. You guys are the best. I will catch you next week. Very exciting news. We got uh, the announcement that um, 1.21 will be dropping. That means that Craftworks Season 1 will be coming to an end, and we will be going into Season 2 pretty well straight away. So uh, I will catch you next week here i think here maybe craftworks we'll see how we go also another little thing on the horizon let me kill these creepers remember everything takes two shots very good all right guys you have a lovely week i will speak to you all later have a good one and uh i'll catch you later bye